So before we get started today, it seems that part 11a had a bit of an issue I didn't notice until it was too late. The video was uploaded and viewers pointed it out to me. Thankfully, it's a minor issue, but still a little annoying for me. So apparently in my mad little process of rendering videos in Corel, then re-rendering them through VSDC to eliminate the frame skip issue, uh, something went wonky with this one. The Corel file for some reason rendered at a little over 60 frames per second, despite my setting it specifically to 60. This apparently caused problems for VSDC, which when I imported the file, it thought it was about 10 seconds shorter than it really was, and thus clipped off the ending. I didn't notice that at all until it was uploaded and people mentioned it. Not the biggest deal, but it's something I'll be watching for more carefully, and it's an easy enough thing to fix if it happens again. But just to have it on record for the project, here's the full ending for that part. This was a packed stage, it was ambitious, I will give it that. But yeah, with that, thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well. Oh. Yeah, I can see why you were warning me about skip teleporters. But hey, we did it! Right then, so with that out of the way, part 12a, places everyone, and action! <laughs> Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, getting back to Magmammal 3. And before we get started, hey, let's switch costumes. So before we do, something to point out. Apparently there are some names hidden within the code that if you have a custom costume that matches that name, you do get an extra message from the mirror. And Nazumi Man is one of them. Note, Nazumi Man. When Neo originally sent me this costume, it was just called Nazumi. However, if you switch it over to Nazumi Man... This costume shop is nice, but I'm going to need to find other stores if I want to achieve perfect fashion. Very nice. But for now, we're going to switch over to another costume. And... He's going to be everyone's problem. Enter the noise. And as long as we're switching things up... Let's get a train following us. Okay, so his slide is a little scooter. He just whips out a gun. <laughs> I was not expecting the fully charged shot to be brick. So, normal bullets, partial charges, and always bomb. Full charge is brick. What's your hold up? Okay, yeah, that fits, and you, w you really are a menace. <laughs> doesn't even spin fully around. Yeah. Seems legit. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so your tools do not have special names. Okay, Brake Dash is a chainsaw. And yeah, there's a little, a little scooter. I know that's a Pizza Tower character, but I forget the name. Ah, but I recognize the Primo Berg. Oh no. Oh. That is highly disturbing, but it works. <laughs> Nicely done, Neo. <laughs> wow. Okay. So as long as we're in the hotel, there is one other thing I want to do. This is something that Neo wanted me to point out about Idle Woman. Because it's not really explicitly stated. Actually, as long as I'm here, yeah. Let's stock up. <laughs> Oh. 
well, you two are familiar, but you two are new. Agent Krantz. Hey, T-Noise. Fancy running into you here, huh? Oh, hi, Agent Krantz. It's been a while. I hope you being here isn't a sign that something bad has happened. Nah, don't worry about it. Gil and I just wanted to get out and enjoy the sights. Well, I had to do a good amount of convincing, but we're here now. Ooh, I'm a little on edge, so I'm glad that things are okay for you guys. Just something about that portrait. <laughs> no problem. We'll be around if you need anything. Gil said I was maybe getting a little too excited about this tourney, but hey, I got a root for you somehow. Agent Stern. Ah, hey, kid. Figures you'd show up in a place like this. Agent Stern, it's nice to see you again. You, uh, look like your, um, usual Stern self. Haha. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I'd heard that joke in my career, I'd be rich by now. So you'd have more than two nickels. I'm just messing with you, kid, though. I figure you've got a lot on your hands already, so I won't be too hard on you. I'm never a fan of these flashy robo tourneys, but Rosie's enjoying it, so I can't be too upset. Well, I'm just glad to know you're here for that, not something worse. Eh, there's slow days for us every now and then, hence why we're out here in the first place. See you around, kid. If you want to believe I'm rooting for you, then knock yourself out. Okay, so I'm not familiar with these characters where they're from. Alright. So, yes, talking to Idle Woman and doing the Let's Talk request, she actually gives you hints and tips. Every one of Chance Man's upgrades can be a game changer, but unless you're flush with tokens, how do you choose? There's no best upgrade. It all depends on what kind of competitor you are. What do you need now, and what's worth saving up for? Fair enough. But with that, let's get back to Tier 2. All right. Whew. If you had to ask me who I'm rooting for, it'd have to be Cerberus, man. You have to admire the dedication you need to have to enter a tournament to promote a cause like that. Protecting the gates of the underworld? Wait. Why is that meter already going on that teleporter? Huh. Okay, both are going here, but only the right one's going here. 163rd place, Grand Fire Palace by BioLizard Shadow, 31.6 out of 100. No time penalty on this one. Oh! There are no poker chips here, it is purely an element. Fair enough. Be a problem! Info Box 10800, contains no message. Alright. Throw a rat at him! I said throw a rat at him. Oh, the birds are back. With a vengeance! I always like this fortress theme. Carefully edge over. All right. It's cool how you can get custom sounds for custom skins in this one. And Neo kind of went all out. Uh, hi. This is an awkwardly small room to have to fight you. The ear of the rat prevails! Yeah, this may be the ear of the dragon, but it has not been going well for me. The average repeat speed of the shooters at the range here.
Okay, so we have magma beams. Okay, you can walk on the generators for them. And it is worth noting, I can freeze them if need be with Ice Wall. We've learned this. Also, despite how big they are, and despite the sound being bigger and longer and everything, it doesn't intimidate me as much as the sound of a force beam. Make it that what you will. I still don't want to mess with them. And I'm also not going to be greedy about trying to outrun them. Huh. If the generator isn't on screen, you don't get a sound cue. Good to know. And that's a blind drop. I'm just curious what the interaction will be here. Okay, that flat out just stops it. Good to know. Uh... <laughs> Good death sound. That was a lot to try and parse real fast. I don't know if you can just run as fast as you can or slide and get through that. Another possibility would be, I know you get iframes from Break Dash. This time I'm just going to try running for it though. Uh, we're safe, we're safe. Okay, that does work. I mean, I don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> the wall and background colors here make me want watermelon. Watermelon is delicious. That is my takeaway here. Give the Durgan watermelon. But not sour watermelon. In general, I'm not a fan of sour candies, except for some reason I really like lemon heads. Despite the fact that those are actually very sour. But like, things like Sour Patch Kids or anything that like tries to be sour apples, sour watermelon, sour cherry. That just makes me sad. I want the tasty ones, not the sour ones. Pickups give you the little bite sound effect. Is there anything actually up there? I mean, there's no tokens here. Okay, but that just felt weird. Uh. <laughs> so it also changes the sound of the energy bar filling up. Which made it extra funny that Darkman first showed up as the noise. Are you just gonna do this? I'm not complaining. Okay, you can shoot. <laughs> that was a performance, Darkman. <laughs> Nice fanfare. Oh, hey, P rank. Okay. <laughs> well, all right then. And that's all that was in the stage, so I guess we're moving on. That was an okay stage. Darkman, I don't feel like he was putting in his all, though. Although this is also compared to after just having fought him with, I think, what, two health bars and being a lot faster and hitting a lot harder. Some of us have come to this tournament to test our strength, or spectate, or whatever. But really, I'm just here to find out if there's any materials anywhere I can't drill through. Property damage? Yeah, right. This is what I was made for. 
Live the dream, my friend. 162nd place, Toxic Trouble by Flora. 31.73. 5% leak penalty. Wonder what that's about. Huh. That's different. And again, only one energy element, no tokens. Alright. I mean, after the last recording session, I'll take a breather. You are a big chunky metal. Oh, there's the leak penalty right there. That bullet gave it its all. <laughs> I'm confused. Was it supposed to explode like that? Nice remix of Moonlight Sonata. Not sure what to make of you. Okay. Not sure where's a good place to stand when he drops four of the canisters. That seemed to work. I guess we're going down. No! Okay, that could have been bad. I mean, no warning as to the placement of those enemies. I like this music too. Very key gen. Okay, well, that's not from Challenger from the future. That's an enemy I actually recognize. Oh, and you. I think you were from Five for Game Boy? It was either that or four for Game Boy. It's one of the Game Boy games. Is this anything? Doesn't seem to be. Wait. What? Okay. That's just arbitrarily not a ceiling there. Okay, and that's constant for every time there's a drip. Just to get you to stop sliding. It's the Kool-Aid Devil. Uh... Why didn't that hit? Do you just get to sometimes decide you're not gonna have a hitbox? Don't like that. What?
Okay, I have to kind of go for a preemptive strike because it's very unclear when I can and cannot hit you. Which is weird. Yeah, like that feels like it should hit, but doesn't. Oh, let me go, let me go, let me go. Oh, these things pile up fast if you're not careful. Oh, come on! Yeah, boy, if you get out of the pattern for even a moment, this can get a lot tougher. Those blobs, they pile up quickly. Okay, so, again, that level wasn't too terribly difficult. It went fairly fast, just the one element. We've been going for 20 minutes. Dare I press on? Shh, keep quiet about us in here. None of us bought tickets to the tournament. Because, you know, cockroach robots don't really have money. But we really need to see those battles. All ten of us in here are rooting for different competitors. I've even had to keep the brats from fighting. Kids these minutes. Not like back in my hour. We knew it best to support the junk robot going in. The underdog. Literally this time. Alright. The Heimei Trials by Keita. 32.4 Two elements and three tokens. I may regret this. Hi there, Voltman. Shoutouts to Stinktarios, credits to Tater Tot Tunes for the Wily Gear Fortress 8-bit D-Make 2. Alright. Hmm. Thinking about this. Nope. Nothing over there. It was worth a try. Okay, we're going the Death Spike route. Alright. At least we can still get in here. That was chip number three. Hi there, Belade. Almost had you. Not quite enough to get in there. And then I'm not sure if that goes somewhere else or if that's just a death pit. But we need to deal with you first. Boy, you're another one that I just have not fought in so long. Yeah, just straight falling down here, I don't seem to have enough momentum to get in there, so I think I actually have to use utilities to get over here. 
All right, let's see if we can find what you don't like. Okay, you don't care about Laser Trident. Spark Chaser doesn't seem to do too much. I'm not sure if that did anything. Okay, yeah, you're invincible to that. That's nothing. That's nothing. Nothing. You jumped over it, how dare you? You're not supposed to do that! Okay, yeah, you don't care about that too much. You do not like Break Dash. Not the most comfortable thing to have to hit you with. Uh-huh. And now I'm out of it. I'm not sure why that spike didn't hurt me, but okay. I didn't even see him fire that one. He's one of those that can be tough to deal with just because he's kind of on the chunky side. Well, explosion blast radius. Get out of here. And that was one of the elements anyway. So we've got one chip and one element. So one more element and two more chips to find. Fair enough. So I'm gonna guess the rest is just heading along the path normally? Because considering that was the second element, and also the last chip, that almost feels like it was kind of an afterthought that was just added toward the beginning. I didn't mean to go down on the ladder there. Okay, what do we have going on here? Okay, I'm legitimately confused, though. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything over that way. 
Okay, so this is just flat out progress. Okay, I was wondering if you were gonna turn around. Okay, so there's a chip up there. Can't quite do it that way. Okay, so that so yeah, that was chip one. So I would assume chip two is later in. Oh, I forgot about those things. And I was very distracted watching it. have that there. Really? Just for an E-Tank? Alright. That's not the worst prize. Hi there, Splash Woman. You're one of those that, back in the perfect run, I know I learned your pattern, but I always forget it every time. It's one I have to get used to again every time. It's the first wave of fish that always throws me off. Not gonna chance that and get too greedy. Okay, the second chip is just a gimme. Note from the Mag Mammal 3 dev team. The boss in the preceding boss room originally had boss barrier objects placed over a reflect block. Since boss barrier objects only delete solids, this path was unbeatable. It has been replaced with tiles that look like reflect blocks. Okay. So now we just have to get to the other exit, I guess. Also, that chunky met went down a lot faster than the ones in the previous stage. Okay, so you are a bit different from Hornet Man. Very different, actually. Alright. Because, yeah, when I find a new boss like this that has new attacks, I usually like to try to bust her only the fight, just to see how it goes. This one's a bit on the tricky side, but not overly so. Oh. Oh, that could have gone badly. <laughs> that was a near thing at the end there. I wasn't expecting to get trapped in the honey that that one bee dropped. Fairly nice boss battle, that one, actually.
tier boss unlocked. Fight them to claim the tier 2 rank. Well, we're not quite that far in just yet. We still have more stages to go, but for today, this is where we're going to call it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.